Hello, hello, hello. This is Kelwin Hagen with Hagen International dot info. <laughs> I've, uh, I'm chuckling a little bit tonight and at the same time I just want to talk a little bit about listening. And, uh, and we're all guilty of it now and then. Perhaps not listening quite as much as we should, right? But uh, I, got, I just had somebody I've known for quite a while and every now and then I'll, uh, I'll give him a, a little message to talk about what I'm doing and he'll give me a little message to talk about what he's doing and, and we'll see whether or not we're interested. And, and you know, we're both marketers. We've been in the business a long time. Me, I, I'm happy for anybody in any business, network marketing, affiliate marketing. I think we can all change the world as a team and realize that. But it reminded me how important it is to really listen to the person. Uh, you know, when, when he was offering me his cell phone service and he, he started out with telling me, uh, you know, that his company is just giving away everything for free, free, free. And, you know, I, I use my seven days free. We give seven days free to sample what we do, and that's great. But nothing's free forever, right? And I, can't, I was kidding around. He's somebody I've known a little while, and he's still doing the cell phone thing. I'm not interested in his company. I have no interest in doing cell phones at all. And so I sent back, you know, if he's offering it for free, he's not just offering me the cell phone service. He wants me to market it, right? So I sent back... From my experience, there ain't no such thing as a free lunch. There, nothing's free. Nothing's free. And uh, he came back with this whole scenario about how it's free. If you just bring in three people, this, that, and the other thing, and that you end up making all this money, and you get your phone for free, and you get this for free, and you get this for free. And I, and I chuckled. I go, so, so it's free if I do some work. And he's like, well, if you can call that work, it's just bringing in three people. I mean, it's nothing. It's just three people. And, uh, you <laughs> And, and I, I very clearly said, no, I'm not interested in the cell phone service. I'm not interested in marketing the cell phones. I'm very happy doing what I'm doing right now. And uh, the, uh, this is, the, the, that's not free. And he came back and he kept coming back at me with all these numbers about how it was free and how the deal was and how I should do it and how, how it really wouldn't interfere unless, unless I wasn't such a great salesman that I, I couldn't keep my focus in my company while I bought in just three people into this thing with a phone so that they could. And, and, and I said to him, I said, you know, please stop. And it's about listening. See, I said, please stop. I'm not interested in the cell phones. I'm not interested in purchasing the services. And I'm not interested in marketing. He goes, it's not marketing, it's just three people. And I go, three people, the average network marketer, because most people don't do anything, unfortunately, everybody's out there looking for a not work marketing, right? Brings in just three people. No, I'm sorry, 2.7 people, according to the Direct Selling Association. So basically what he's saying is that if I come in and I do a little bit better than the average for that, I can have a free phone as these people have their services. And I'm like, that's not free. That's me marketing your company. And please stop. And uh, no matter what I said, he kept coming back to me and coming back to me again and again with why I should do this and how it's something so simple. To why I finally started, to, I start, finally said to him, I'm sorry, the business is so bad for you that, that it seems you have to beg me to come market your phones. And, and I didn't like it getting to that point, but I was starting to get irritated. I really was, because this is somebody that, you know, we've been friends in the business for a while, and here, then, then he comes back and he tells me something about how uh, he, had to, he had to block me from his, his feed back a while ago, because I was at a company and my post kept showing on his wall for my company, so he blocked me from my feed. And I was like, ouch. And I was done. Here he was. He hadn't listened to anything I'd said. When I kept saying things like, isn't it nice that there are so many different opportunities and so many different things that people can do and so many things that people can do in this business that, that we don't have to do one thing and still be in business together in one way or another because we're all marketers. And he wouldn't listen to any of this. And then he tells me that he actually had to block me from his feed because of my business in the past. This is a marketer, right? And I just, uh, I just said, like this was the last post I sent him, and I clicked block. And, and it, it just makes me sad, because here he was, not listening. You know, that's an interesting story, and it's kind of funny. And you know, no doubt I've been guilty of some of that myself. We don't always listen. Sometimes we're in different modes and stuff. But it reminded me how important it is for us to really listen to what the other person is saying. Now, particularly when you're dealing with another marketer. 
you're dealing with another marketer and they say no and, and something happened to Kelly today similar to that as well when you say no assume sometimes that they mean it okay don't 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 beat it to the point to where somebody says I can't even have your string following around anymore slow down a little bit listen to what the other person is saying it is better to have a marketer that's somebody that respects you and you respect tied in as your friend than to beat them to death and make it sound like if they don't do what you're doing they're just plain stupid because all you've done now is have them hit that block button and they're no longer a part of your business part of your life a part of your Facebook a part of anything so it's an interesting story, an interesting day, and, and like I said, somebody might actually see this, that I may have come off a little bad at it before, please. I'm not beyond learning. I'm learning every single day, but it reminded me how important it is to really listen to what the other person is saying, and don't just assume that just because your company and your product is fantastic, that all the other opportunities, all the other companies that are out there aren't also amazing. Let's stop and embrace the entire industry of network marketing, MLM, affiliate marketing. These are the industry. This is the industry that sets people free. It's, it sets people free from the J-O-B, the job, the, the B-O-S-S, -S, the boss, the double S-O-B backwards, right? So everybody out there marketing, we should be supporting, right? So stop, listen, and move forward. And if somebody's in marketing, show them the respect they deserve as a marketer. Peace. Oh, by the way, if you like this crazy little rant, um, look me up. You can find me on Facebook. It's Kelwin Hagen. Uh, you can uh, check my link out, haganinternational.info. Look forward to talking to any one of you at any time. I'm easy to find. I'm on Facebook, and my phone number is even rich, listed in my About section. So, or if somebody else reposted this, please look up their links and check out who they are. This is an industry where we all want to help each other to be successful and to really, really grow. So, I want to say thanks again and peace.